let me explain what is going on in my mind. Why do I do the YouTube videos? Why do I have the channel? Because I want to stop the world from blowing up. Now, obviously, I cannot make a difference in any short run. So the other reason is because I enjoy communicating complex information. That is fulfilling to me. I enjoy having a reputation as someone who gives a good take and constantly playing an ironic character uh, doesn't help with that. And talking about Ukraine and talking about shit that I really don't know that much about, not even talking about it, it's debating people about it and trying to convince others to have the opinion I do when I'm not in a position to do that. That is what I am personally exhausted by, and it tends to manifest most in streams that I do. I think streaming is is a, is like pathologically poisonous. Well, I don't know. I think that me streaming is pathologically poisonous because you're forced to. Pl I'm forced to play a character. Okay, you can't look at a camera and do a live thing and not be performing. That's what that is. So it's it's hard to be genuine, quote unquote, while doing this and also being called all kinds of names and me feeding into that. And so it's, it's, you know, it's fun and all that, but it's not productive. And I think it's undermining my ability to communicate the actual interesting things I have to say about, you know, philosophy and nerd shit like that. I felt less than zero interest in doing anything related to the Kamala Harris Trump debate. And even though they're eating the dogs and they're eating the cats, it's it's like I'm, I'm uninterested in that because because I have nothing to add to that conversation. Now, I do care about political stuff because it's important to pay attention to things. And politics is the manifestation of the more abstract philosophical ideas in a lot of ways, but also not really, because the things that I'm interested in having to do with psychology and archetypes, it's like that has much more personal application than I give it credit for and than I lead on because I'm constantly talking about fucking politics. This definitely stems from my childhood. I grew up in a household where my parents fought all the time, every day, and I was the middle child and I... My older brother and younger brother had their share of problems, to put it lightly, and I was the mediator, and I was the one who would hear the different fights between everyone and try to bring peace and try to stop fights from happening before they broke out. And so I've always been attuned towards conflict and political division. You know, my whole philosophy is whatever the most divisive issue is at the time is the most important issue to talk about because that's the issue that needs reasonable mediating perspectives on. And I think I can provide that, but there's a difference between me giving the take that I think is the right take to a small online audience that isn't going to make any impact in the long run versus pursuing the deeper philosophical, psychological ideas and educating people and providing novel insight rather than just another take on Ukraine or whatever the fuck it is. And I think that's more valuable for people and more, it's certainly more compelling and rewarding for me. I've had this experience twice now. I watched a lot of Vosh before I started the YouTube channel and then I debated him and I was like, my life is pretty much the same. I, I don't feel like I've learned anything new. And then I had the conversation with Destiny and learn more how he thinks and I'm glad that we could have the conversation that we did. But, you know, I had this attitude of like, well, I'll talk to Destiny who's a major figure in this space and then that will change things and it's like not really it's you know honestly i guess the the positive impact is just being able to develop a reputation as someone who has interesting philosophical and psychological insight i don't care about the political shit i really don't long term yes i think all of the phil philosophy and psychology is somewhat irrelevant if it can't be applied in a political space because the political issues are serious and you can't just have live your personal bubble and not care about the world and society around you if you go back and watch some of my old videos I'm much more straightforward and sincere, and I'm not calling people autistic every few minutes. I'm going to make the best argument I can for the side that I disagree with, and I think it'll be a better argument than any argument they can come up with. Because if they could come up with a better argument, I would be on that side. But I've never heard a better argument. Now, it obviously depends on what we're talking about. Sorry, I'm getting a little excited. I've been thinking more about my approach and the degree to which I employ irony. Now, irony is a valuable tool, and I'm fucking hilarious, and I'm an expert at applying it. But I can overstep. It is possible to become too much of a character and to use irony to correctly dismiss the hordes of imbeciles that, you know, criticize and comment stupid shit. But the problem is there's a lot of people who leave very valid criticism of me and leaning too hard in the irony makes it too easy for me to dismiss useful feedback that you know if i'm trying to do something long term like i'm trying to learn that's my number I'm trying to become the kind of person who can solve big problems rather than try to solve them now 
because I, I know I can't do anything significant right now. I am excited about going on a new arc in the realm of applied sociology. I'm trying to formalize my ideas around memes and philosophy and psychology and do some very based synthesis and create some interesting f sort of more philosophical videos. And my video editor and I are working on some absolutely disgustingly good league content and some other content that will be elite. So that's all good. But the point is irony. I get, I, I get it. It can be too much sometimes. And I, I feel it. And that's why I did this video. Also, my apartment flooded and I've been in a weird like limbo state for six days. So I've had time to think and evaluate different things. And I've started doing some volunteer stuff and trying to be more ingrained in the real world and all that good stuff. So anyway, the point is, these are my thoughts and do with them what you will and prepare yourself for an incredible slew of new videos. And generally the same stuff, but the irony toned down because I cannot go into a conversation with someone who doesn't know me as a character. That's just ridiculous. And I, I hate, I personally hate coming across people on Twitter or on YouTube. They're like making an inside joke to their audience. And I'm like, is this a joke? I can't even tell this is some fucking stupid thing. Like, so I hate that. So I need to not do that as much. I still will do it, of course, because that's just, life. But I'm going to tone it down. Anyway, good luck, everyone. Godspeed.